Hey guys, I'm sure Michael Singleton. <laughs> what? What? Did <laughs> no, I didn't. Oh. No. <laughs> okay, here we go. <laughs> Hey guys, I'm John Keane. And I'm sure Michael Singleton. And we are at Guntry in Maryland. Maryland. Again. Baltimore, Maryland, at that. This is Owen Mills. Wasn't that still Baltimore County? Uh, well, Bal you see, you didn't say Baltimore County. You got all people right. thinking we next to Ravens Stadium. Now John all of a sudden has been Mr. Specific here. <laughs> are you rubbing off on me, man? <laughs> Just like I'm rubbing off on you. Look at you, Mr. <laughs> Mr. Rubbing Biceps. Up, bro. Now. All right. Anyway, now nah, I got to go harder. Anyway. So guys, we're doing this review on the SIG P320 X5, X5 Legion. Legion. Long time coming. This is long overdue for me specifically yeah, because yeah. from the first Saturday mm -hmm. shooter episode. When we shot Stevens. When we shot Stevens. Which was like a white, white It color, was a right? white grip yeah, with yeah. the black uh, slide. And I mean, that thing everything, was amazing. it was just amazing. Yeah. We, we did yeah, not expect amazing. the results that we got when we shot his X5. Yeah. It was and my it first time. It wasn't even a Legion, was it? Was, was it, no, a Legion? it was a Legion. Okay it, okay. it was a custom Legion though. Ah, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So yeah, so that was a, that was just a great experience. Yeah. And from that yep. moment, we said, you know what, we're gonna get one of those one day. Yeah. And there, here we are. So we got the Legion. We've shot the Legion. I know I've put at least a thousand rounds through mine. Shermichael. I don't know if I've shot that much through mm -hmm. mine. Maybe yeah, yeah. like a couple hundred though. Well, here's the thing, because it's not my EDC, obviously. But you could. They actually make holsters for this thing, believe it or not. And you know what? He'll be the one to try it. Okay. <laughs> not me. Uh, this is not EDC material. <laughs> So I didn't think I was going to shoot it as much either, but it's just a fun gun yeah, to shoot. It it's is, a fun it gun is. to shoot. It's easy to control. I mean, and you know what? I'm going to just get this rant out of the way, Shermichael. I know you weren't expecting this, That's but okay. I, just, I just have to say, look at this. First off, the guns are clear, guys. Just want to yep. make sure Both you understand that. Clear. So I just want to show you this. Look at how aggressive this full-size pistol looks. I mean, yeah. the aggressive, I, I'm, I'm big on aesthetics. You can ask your Michael. Yep. I, the gun has to look right. I, yeah. I want my gun to look right. I want it to look cool. I want it to look intimidating. Mm -hmm. And that's this delivers hands mm -hmm. down. That was yep. the first thing I noticed, right? And then when it started to handle the way it looked, I was sold, right? Mm -hmm. So, I mean, look, man, we could just dive right in. No, I mean, so we start with, let's start with our sights. Now, mm -hmm. you guys are familiar with Dawson Precision Adjustable Sights. Yep. Now, before we put a dot on there, the, si the rear sights were adjustable, windage elevation. Mm -hmm. We're familiar with those, John, because of staccato. Dawson yep. seems to be making sights for everybody for the most part. Yeah, so premium stuff. Exactly. So, mm -hmm. I, I love the sights on these things, especially this super thin, like, razor blade yes. uh, front sight, John, mm -hmm. because for me, when I first shot Stevens, who's a good friend of ours who, who runs the Reload, by the way, so you guys should check it out, an amazing digital uh, yeah. firearms news publication, mm -hmm. I realized how easy it was to be accurate. Because right. remember, we were shooting that little bitty small target. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It was we did, deadly it was accurate. like five and 10 yeah. yards. Yep, yeah, that's yeah, right. Mm -hmm. That's right. Yep. Yeah, no, he's absolutely correct. And, and you know what? I lost the appreciation for that because mm -hmm. ours came with red dots, right? right? It did. Um, yep. But yeah, looking at using Stevens with the irons, mm -hmm. he's exactly right. Mm -hmm. I mean, the razor thin front sight with that uh, adjustable rear sight, yeah. it was hard to miss. I mean, we both shot groups 
of, I think we shot what, five rounds yeah, each? that's right. And it was four rounds touching and one drifted. Just crazy. And I don't even know why both of just us crazy. had, I think we both got excited because we thought we was about to have them all touching and, no, then, right, and right. then we just dropped the last one or something like that. But anyway, yeah, so he's absolutely right. The iron sights coming out right out of the box on this thing are amazing. Yeah, and, and, and this is, I mean, I, I like if you take a look at the slide here, you, you have these cuts, which I don't know, John, if, if this makes a considerable amount of difference uh, outside of weight. Well, outside so, of weight. So that is the biggest difference well, because which, right, but but by that what I what, what I was meaning to say is as far as like a compensated type effect. Oh right, and, no. and it does not. And no, I just right, want to right. be clear on that because very, I have seen good. people yeah, yeah. ask that mm -hmm, question, mm -hmm. and to my knowledge, I don't think that's what this is for. No, it's I think not. It's purely for for weight. So it's for weight, and obviously it looks bad. It looks good. Yeah. Right. Um, nice. So so the idea is that they made the slide lighter because it's the part that's moving. The yeah. slide is moving. So you make that part lighter while they made the grip heavier. Mm -hmm. So therefore you have more uh, recoil yep, mitigation. Yep. Mm -hmm. and, and, and you have a nice a nice barrel here. I love the barrel on this thing. Yeah, it's a bull barrel. It's, it's just, a bull just barrel, like Staccato, which yeah. again, this is also empty for you guys who you know want to freak out about stuff like that. But it's a nice bull barrel, which we like. They're reliable barrels. And, I, and, and now you can actually get barrels in different colors. Now, at least one or two other oh, colors, yeah, with I the believe, new SIG, right? With the new, with the new SIG, SIG, SIG uh, customization yeah, thing. So thing, yeah. mm -hmm. we highly recommend that you guys uh, check that out. You can even, I've even seen threaded barrels for this. No, I have to, yeah. You yep. can get a threaded barrel wow. if you want to attach yeah. a comp I didn't even, I or forgot if you want to attach that. a suppressor, if that's mm -hmm. your thing, mm -hmm. you can do that. As you see, we have our serrations on the front and the rear. So if you want to do your little press check for those of you who are into that thing, you can, but 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 John, this is a this is a pretty heavy pistol, guys. I mean, you're talking about over 40 ounces. This yeah, thing, yeah, in part yeah. because of the tungsten infusion mm -hmm. with the grip module, which again, to John's point, is why the slide has these cuts, so that it can be a lot lighter than the overall heaviness that you're going to get from that grip itself. No, no, absolutely. And so the good thing about the grip being so heavy, it, it's still a polymer grip, guys. It's <laughs> a polymer crazy. grip infused with tungsten. Mm -hmm. I mean, to be honest, yeah. like that is innovation mm -hmm. at its finest when you think about it. You put a, a, a heavier element inside of the polymer, yeah. so you still get the flex, which also helps mitigate the recoil. Mm -hmm. Because think about it, when you have a solid piece of iron, it's gonna be a little snappier. It is, you know, it because, is. because that iron's not gonna move. Yeah, that's But right. with the polymer, grip infused with tungsten it can still flex mitigating recoil even more so now you have weight mm -hmm. and you have the flexibility of that polymer grip yeah no no you're right john and, and this is an amazing striker fire pistol i mean yes. when sick came out with this a couple years ago people absolutely fell in love with it mm -hmm. and now because of the, the grip module that you can take out of this and put in a smaller subcompact or a compact pistol makes this even more fun john because you can buy just the frame mm -hmm. and the slide as long as you have something that is of the P320 line. Of the 320 man, line, yeah. Man, you can customize this thing like nobody's business. Now, I will say another thing that I really enjoy about this, John, that comes with it mm -hmm. is just this magwell, man. The, yeah. Just the magwell. Very aggressive again. Is, it is. Yeah. That, mm -hmm. that just naturally comes with. This comes standard. Yeah. You don't have to go out and buy this. This comes with it. And I got to tell you, I have an appreciation for it because sometimes, John, you have a hard time trying to find the right mag well for your freaking gun, man. I, I hate that crap. I got about three jokes for that, but I don't know if I'm, it's not appropriate. So <laughs> moving right along. But listen, to his point, guys, SIG designed this gun to be basically customized, competition yep. ready, right out of the box. Absolutely. They said that was their mission with this because they realized that people were doing a lot of aftermarket customizations as soon as they got their 320s, right? Like... You're gonna show what you got. Oh, right, right, right. Yeah. No, that's what I, so yeah, so to his point, I changed the takedown lever with a gas pedal. Right. It's still the takedown lever, but it's also doubles as a gas mm -hmm. pedal to give me that more leverage and more firm control to mitigate even more recoil. And I have so, nothing on mine. No, no, because you don't shoot as much as I shoot mine. <laughs> uh, but yeah, and plus I just, I like, I got a, I got a tinker, guys. I got he a tinker. Does, okay, so, so let's go through a couple, couple of other things. Like, okay, mm -hmm. notice that there we have the Romeo 1 Pro yep. on, on ours. I have the Shroud. You have, right, and yeah. I don't on mine. Right, and I honestly like the Shroud. Again, this is an aesthetic choice. It has the SIG logo engraved there, but it takes away all the white and all the, it, the white to me throws it off. I like it to, you know, look all stealthy like this. So the you Shroud is a great addition. Gray, yeah. plus, plus it protects your red dot, right guys? So, so that's, you can get kind of like two for one there. Mm -hmm. um, let's talk about the trigger. So the trigger on the X5 Legion that I have is skeletonized. skeletonized. Yep, mine is not because I actually have an older 
um, module, unlike John. John has the latest. Mm -hmm. And they did that, according to Sig, from what I read, John, and some of you guys may correct me, but from what I read, mm -hmm. that is to another lighting feature, aesthetics, but mm -hmm. also to make it a little lighter, believe it or not. So, so the thing about what they did with the, the trigger on this particular pistol is that, from what I read, the skeletonized was just for looks, right? Uh, however, they did take about 25% off of the wall of this trigger. So you reach the wall, it's nice and crisp. It comes with a steel guide rod and believe it or not, a 1911 style spring. Yeah. So that means, so it comes with a 14 pound spring and a 12 pound spring right out of the box. But if you want something different, and you've used other things, mm -hmm. 1911 springs that is, you can swap this out for any 1911 right. spring and it'll work. And, so it, and this, is cool. a, this is a big gun. I mean, you're talking about, oh, what, five, what is it, five inches, John? Yeah, yeah, five this, inches, this, five this inch is, barrel. This is a big boy. Yeah. Um, but again, this is what Max Michel, uh, captain of the team, mm -hmm. uh, of for SIG competitive shooting team, he oh, uses yeah. this. This is his gun, he shoots it. Well, now he's shooting his mm -hmm. newer version. Newer version. But this was the one he mm -hmm. was shooting. Yeah. Uh, and if it's reliable for Max, and it's reliable for me, and it's probably gonna be reliable for you guys. Is it, is it reliable for me? Well, yeah, you shoot yours more than me, All clearly. Right, you just left me out, man. I was, just, oh, I was like, bad. everybody else is my cool, and I'm not cool. And John, too. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, so look, man, to wrap this up, guys, look, I only honestly have one complaint uh -oh. about this gun, and it's not even about the gun, it's about the magazine. So if you notice, Shermichael's magazine is a little skinnier than mine, right? But that's because I have the Terran base plate on mine. So the, the bottom portion, it's yeah. a little skinnier. Mm -hmm. It just takes away from the look for me. This looks more yeah, full, I can and, and see it's that. a plus. It's a plus five base plate, so I also get functionality from it. But it just looks a little beefier for me because, like he said, it's a big gun. Yeah, so I wanted, to, I wanted to be big. It's a big boy. Be big, bro. Yeah. Do your thing, right? By the way, easy mag release. Oh man, easy. butter. I love it. Buttery smooth. Yeah. Buttery smooth. Comes out of the box with three seventeen round mags. In my case, I think yours came with a twenty one, right? It did. Yep. Yeah. And uh, I went out and I bought me a twenty one round mag. So now I have three seventeen round mags, two with a plus five plus five base plate on it mm -hmm. and one 21 rounder. So boy, I'm packing heat. Look, okay. I love this gun, it's fun. Again, I don't shoot it as often as John because mm -hmm. I have other pistols that I, that I shoot, mm -hmm. but I am telling you guys, go check this thing out, buy it if you can, John. They're hard as heck to find in stock, Well, almost it, impossible. They're hard to find in stock because it's such a complete pistol right out of the yeah. box and it's less than $1,000 if you're getting it without the optic, That's right? right? That's so right. I mean, guys, this is, a big bang for the buck. It's mm -hmm. a, I, I just look. I, I'm gonna I'm gonna continue tinkering with this. So stay tuned for a, another episode of John's P320X5 Legion, and it's gonna look way different. Yep, okay. So shout out to Max Michelle. Shout out to the rest of the guys on the Sig competitive and shout team. Shout out to and shout Sig. out to Sig. That's right. Come on, guys. That's guy. right. For all yeah, the ingen ingenuity behind mm -hmm. this thing, we got to meet the people who designed it and yep. create this thing every single day. Mm -hmm. They are phenomenal people, and yep. you can tell when you touch this thing, shoot this thing mm -hmm. that it was mm -hmm. made by awesomeness. Awesome. All in the hands. Just awesomeness. All awesomeness in the hands. That's right, man. That's what Jerry got. Jerry got awesomeness in his hands. That is true. That is true. <laughs> anyway, guys, listen. SIG P320X5 Legion. Legion. Check it out. Yeah, check it out, guys. And let's go. And get some. A well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. The people means all people. Arms means all arms. Shall not be infringed means no compromise. We are gun owners of America. Hey guys, so if you liked this video, like it, share it, comment, and also make sure you hit that notifications bell to be made aware of new and upcoming episodes. All that stuff he just said, plus go over to GunsOutTV.com, check out the Guns Out store, and also we have a donate button. So if you want to help us out making new content all across the country, share a little love.
A little bit. A little bit. Just a little bit. And make sure you follow us, guys, on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram to stay tuned to what we're doing because there's a lot of exciting things that are coming your way, and we want to keep you guys up to date. Also, sign up for our newsletter on our website. We give away stuff sometimes. We do? Are oh, you paying for it? That's the way it is, guys. <laughs> Let's go. And get some.